Good morning, YouTube. Pastor Dave, it is Sunday, July 8th, 2012. Coffee news and prophecy on this July 8th. Uh, you need some coffee. You better get your coffee. Pour your coffee. Pull up a chair. What is Google up to? We all know who Google is, right? We know who Google is. We know they own that uh, company where you can put you on a tube or me on a tube. I'd like to be on a tube going river rafting right now down a nice fast current, fast stream to keep cool, but that's not what I'm about to talk about. Google. What is Google up to? You need to get your coffee. Come on. I need to make it strong. Make it strong. Ah, uh, let's find out what Google is up to in the news for this Sunday, July 8th, 2012. Are you ready for this? Hold on, I'm not even ready to bring it in. I want to show you something. Hold on, look at my hat. I'm going to keep you in suspense, aren't I? Now, what is Google doing? You know, you put you on a tube, me on a tube, we're all on a tube. Oh my, my. And I wonder to ask Google this. Are you going to heaven? Are you going to heaven? We were uh, at the Davidson Festival of the Flags last night. And 14 celebrations for the evening. We'll be back there again tonight. In just a little while, we'll be heading out. Uh, we should have our live broadcast tonight over our live stream, Tiny Chat, and our live chat room. Depending on if we get home in time, which I believe we will, but it's kind of up in the air right now. I kind of wish, after the story I'm about to bring you, that we were all kind of being lifted up into the air, into the clouds. But hopefully tonight we should be back in time for our live broadcast, which was normally done on Saturday, but of course we were uh, out there preaching the word last night, Davidson, Michigan. So we're going to try to aim for tonight, 9 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time, open night mic which means we're going to talk about Bible prophecy. We're going to talk about the RFID microchip. We're going to talk about the zombie apocalypse. We're going to talk about a lot of things um, that's going on. The, the record-breaking heat wave. Is that judgment against the United States of America? We'll talk about that tonight. And it's open mic night. If you've got a webcam and a microphone or just a microphone, you can come up on the monitors and be part of the discussion. All right. I better not stall anymore. Did I show you my hat? All right. What's Google up to? Let's find out. Make sure you got one more cup of coffee. Hold on. I know you're all saying, what? Will he just get to the article? It's a tough one. Because I'm on a tube. You're on a tube. YouTube. Google. I'm going to be in trouble for this. Google announces worldwide legalized love campaign plan in support of same-sex marriage. That's right. Let me bring you the story. Google has launched a new campaign on Saturday supporting the legalization of same-sex marriage around the world. Dot for... 29 reports that the initiative called Legalized Love debuted in Poland and Singapore and will focus on places with homophobic cultures where anti-gay laws exist, though it will operate in every city which Google has an office. Google has indicated its support of the issue before. In 2008, the company published a blog spot opposing a California amendment that would ban same-sex marriage. The amendment passed. And on Valentine's Day of this year, Google, I'm on a tube, you're on a tube, me tube, you tube, the company ran a gay marriage theme, or themed rather, Google Doodle. And we all remember President Barack Hussein Obama what his stand is. That's, uh, I, I'm sure there's going to be a commercial. And of course, I'm doing this uh, 
kind of live here almost on what where, where am I at Google YouTube let's listen I think we're gonna have a commercial first but nothing I can do about it I think it's Google advertising Obama says gay marriage strengthens families it'll play after this ad that what Obama says gay marriage strengthens families? How can gay marriage strengthen families? We're going to find out. Let's see. I want everybody treated fairly in this country. We have never gone wrong when we expanded rights and responsibilities to everybody. It doesn't weaken families, that strengthens families. President Obama. President Obama, can you read this? I'm ready to go to heaven. How about you? Leave me comments about it. 